the rest of the story. The city of Edmonton, Alberta, trembled with excitement at the news. The triumphant athletes were returning home. 20,000 admirers overflowed Market Square and jammed the streets. Traffic came to a standstill. In fact, the hometown celebrities themselves had to get out of their cars and plunge into the throng, escorted by scores of mounted police. And then, at last, to the chanting and cheering of Canadian sports fans, of the World Championship Edmonton team reached the platform in the middle of the square. The 49th Battalion Band saluted them with a rousing anthem. A host of dignitaries, including the provincial premier, Mere, proclaimed their praise, and as the glow of a dozen bonfires and a shower of dazzling fireworks illumined the falling night, an impressive parade was launched into the brimming boulevards. Never before in the history of that capital city had there been such grand festivities. For Edmonton had been the home of some spectacular sports teams, a National Hockey League team that claimed back-to-back -back Stanley Cups in 84 and 85, a Canadian Football League team with a record holding five consecutive Grey Cup victories to their credit, but the athletic organization whose joyous, victorious 1924 homecoming you've just relived was Edmonton's basketball team, the Edmonton Grads, which the inventor of basketball, Dr. James Naismith, called the finest basketball team that ever stepped out onto a floor. Their record-shattering accomplishments comprise the rest of the story. The Edmonton grads dominated their sport through all of the years they were a ball club, from 1915 to 1940. Of the 522 games they played in those 25 years, the grads won 502 of them. That's better than 96%. At local, provincial, national, and international levels, they won 108 championships. Not once did they ever lose a Canadian championship contest. Before basketball became an Olympic sport, the grads went to the Olympics anyway and played 27 exhibition games, and they won all of them. When a U.S. university basketball team wins more than 60 games... Anything more than 60. That's headline news. The Edmonton grads once won 147 consecutive games. Then they lost one game, and then they retaliated with a spectacular 78-game winning streak. In all of the 25 years they played, only 48 names appeared on the team roster. And all but two of those players had something remarkable in common. They were graduates of the town's commercial high school. They had played for the high school's basketball team. And so the name, the Edmonton Grads. The history of basketball is yet in the writing, but there may never be another team like this one. Not only because of their stratospheric statistics, for the invincible Edmonton Grads, the team deemed best ever by basketball's own inventor, was exclusively comprised of former members of the commercial high school girls basketball team. In a sport ordinarily identified with sky-hooking, slam-dunking, court-pounding supermen, the best ever were women. And now you know the rest of the story.